I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Pathology Academy. In this channel, I try to incorporate all those videos which are of importance for your exams and even routine clinical practice. So today's video will be on telepathology and telecytology. Let's get started. So what is telepathology? Well, telepathology means practice of pathology at a distance viewing histological, cytological or macro images transmitted along telecommunication pathways on a video monitor rather than directly through a microscope. Telepathology allows the pathologists, surgeons and radiologists to communicate with each other over the diagnostic dilemmas and overcoming the barrier of distance. It brings expert services closer to the patient, eliminating the unnecessary shifting to referral hospitals. It also provides a higher quality of education. The acquisition of images may be useful for diagnosis, consultation or continual medical education. So what do we need for telepathology? Well, the components of telepathology network include a conventional microscope, a method for image capture, that is a camera which is mounted on the microscope, and telecommunication link between the sending and receiving sites, a workstation at the receiving site with a high quality video monitor. Coming to the types of telepathology, telepathology is of two main types, static and dynamic. In static te telepathology, there is storing and then forwarding mechanism. It is cheap and simple and needs only a standard telephone and internet connection or a broadband connection. A limited number of images are captured and stored in the hard drive or compact disk read-only memory, commonly known as CD-ROM, for later transmission. What is the advantage of static telepathology. Well, in this, the transfer size is small and no special software is needed. And what are the disadvantages? Well, there is selection by a non-expert and may miss important areas. There is no recipient control. Number of images are limited. Sampling errors may be present due to inability to, to view the entire site. To a pathologist who is trained to see the slide in continuity, this may appear a suboptimal approach. Coming to dynamic pathology. Well, dynamic pathology permits the recipient pathologist to control movement of the slide by means of a joystick and view the real-time image on a high-resolution monitor. The sections are viewed in entirely, thus eliminating the problems caused by inadequate or inappropriate field selection. It has a motorized microscope with remote control software, also known as robotic interactive telepathology and real-time telepathology. What are the advantages of dynamic pathology? Well, in this, selection of field of interest by expert is very fast and, and the images are of high resolution. Studies from different centers have shown that there is a high rate of concurrence even for frozen section biopsies and the time taken for the diagnosis is a little more. The disadvantage is that complex technology. But both static and dynamic technology can be combined to advantage and are not mutually exclusive. Coming to the utilities of telepathology. Well, the validated applications are in intraoperative frozen section, surgical pathology consultations, expert to expert consultations, distance education and quality assurance. And the provisional applications include autopsy pathology, cytometry imaging, cytopathology, cytogenetics, hematopathology, immunohistochemistry and fine needle aspirates. The scope of the applications are, well, in future it can be applied for point of care pathology services, ultra rapid turnaround time or TATS, in surgical pathology, particularly for difficult cases, and proficiency testing. Coming to the difference between static and dynamic telepathology. Well, in static 
telepathology the image system is still however in dynamic it's a live image system the motorized microscope is not used in static but is used in dynamic and is bidirectional the robotic remote control is not present in static but in dynamic telepathology it is used the image per case in cases of static telepathology is generally five or more however in dynamic telepathology it is unlimited the specimen sampling is limited in static pathology however it's comprehensive in dynamic telepathology the image selection is by referring physician or pathologist and in dynamic it is telepathologist who does the image selection transmission time per image in cases of static telepathology is 45 seconds however it is one upon 15 second in cases of dynamic telepathology average time per diagnosis is 15 minutes in cases of static pathology but in cases of dynamic telepathology it is about 3 to 10 minutes video conferencing is not possible in static telepathology which is possible in dynamic telepathology coming to telecytology telecytology is a component of broader field of telepathology and in the practice of cytology at a distance it uses telecommunication network or internet to transfer digital images from one site to another the emergence of fast and high resolution digital imaging technology and computers with high processing capacity has made telecytology possible This telecytology is indicated in both gynecological and non-gynecological cases and are amenable to telecytology for primary interpretation and secondary opinion consultations. The lesion best suited for telecytology are the FNAC images of any site. The drawbacks of telecytology are is tissues or neoplasms that do not readily exfoliate or excessively bloody aspirates prove even more difficult to diagnose via telecytology or by traditional glass lights the quality of the microscope has a profound effect on the quality of the images so this was all about telepathology and telecytology in this video i hope you have understood the concept of telepathology and telecytology very well nowadays it is a very common routine practice in developing as well as developed countries well this video on telepathology and telecytology is a very important topic both for the undergraduates and the postgraduates and the leading clinicians and pathologists of all countries and around the world i hope this video is useful for all of you please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and see you in the next video bye for now